Moles are areas of the skin with increased pigmentation. We have pigment cells in our skin to give us our natural skin tone. And if these numbers of pigment cells increase in number very closely and are densely packed together, you get the formation of moles, which will then look as areas of darker pigment in the skin. There are a number of different types of moles typically seen on the skin. There are some moles that we are genetically programmed to have, and there are some moles that we get from, you've, from sunlight exposure with time. So if you have a lot of uh, sunlight exposure in childhood, we'll tend to get more moles. How moles look will depend on where the nests of pigment cells are. Now, our skin is in two layers, the top layer of the epidermis and the bottom layer of the dermis. And if we have lots of pigment cells at the base of the epidermis, the top layer of skin, these moles tend to be flat and very pigmented. If we tend to have moles where the nests of cells are deeper in the skin, in the dermis, these moles tend to be more bumpy and you can feel them on the skin. And sometimes there are a combination of moles where there's the increase in number of cells are both at the epidermis and the dermis. And these are compound nevi, but again, these tend to be pigmented moles. Skin tags aren't moles. Skin tags are extra bits of skin that typically occur where the skin has lots of movement, so around the neck, under the arms, uh, and, and in the groin. So where the skin has lots of movement, you can develop skin tags, which are almost little redundant bits of skin. Skin tags may be caused by twofold. Firstly, there is, tends to be a genetic susceptibility for them. So if you look at your family members, your parents, you may notice that they have skin tags, which could be an indication that you may well develop these. But skin tags can also develop if our weight changes. So if we increase our weight, then development of skin tags can increase as well. Skin tags tend to change due to trauma because these often catch on clothing. But skin tags don't have an, an ability to form skin cancer. Typically, moles that are changing must be seen to exclude melanoma. So if a mole starts to change to, uh, in shape, size, colour or symptoms, it should be seen by a doctor. If there's any doubt as to the behaviour of the mole, it should be removed completely with a full surgical excision. If a mole has features that is a nuisance, it catches on clothing but has no suspicious features, it can be dealt with differently. And this can be removed by what's called a shave excision where the mole is removed by shaving it flush with the skin surface. The time it takes to, to remove a mole will depend on a number of factors. Firstly, uh, where anatomically on you, and also how we are going to remove the mole. If it's a surgical excision, it will take longer, up to 15, 20 minutes, as opposed to a shave excision, which is actually very quick and can take uh, five, 10 minutes. However, with both these procedures, the, the main time is making sure that you're adequately prepared for surgery and that the skin is uh, fully anaesthetised.